Well, today we're going to be looking at Blake's Seven Annual. So, as you probably know, there were three annuals produced uh, in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. So, you had the 1979 annual, 1980 annual, and then the 1981 annual. Um, and there was no in 1982 because obviously the uh, series had ended by that point. Uh, so they never did a series four annual until now. Late seven annual 1982. So this is a brilliant mammoth book that's been produced by uh, a group of very talented fans. And it's a labor of love. Um, it's a non-profit book. Um, so the people that made it are making nothing out of it. Um, but I'm glad they've done it because the love just shines through so we're going to have a, a quick look at it um obviously a lot of people have probably ordered this and they're keeping it till christmas so you probably want to look away um go and watch one of my other videos perhaps um but for anyone else let's have a look so it's an absolutely weighty old oh my god sorry, absolute weighty old, old tome it's much thicker than a normal annual uh, by colt edge I do like some of the little in-jokes. An authorised edition as seen on the TV. Um, it's really well, very produced with very high sort of specification. Um, so let's have a look. Um, I read a little bit of it. Yeah, definitely not £1.75. The artwork is just gorgeous. I'll show you my favourite bit of artwork in it. Um, the 1980s logo. Uh, so this, I believe, was the cover um, by uh, actually a friend of mine, uh, Damien May. Um, this was the cover on the uh, uh, sort of contributors' copy, which is like all of his artwork is just breathtaking. May even looks a bit shocked there. Um, so yeah, so you got really nice contact content pages. There's so much in here; it's just mad. We won't be able to cover it all. Um, and it's nice because it's a mixture of sort of uh, fact and fiction. So it's some making of sections uh, as well as sort of comic strips and prose stories. So meet the crew, Avon Villa. And it's just chock full. It's colour throughout. Um, so there's actually a history of the world distributed annuals. Um, I did do a video on them, I'll see if I can get them to it. If not, look at my Blake 7 playlist. Um, it's absolutely stunning, it's really high quality pages. Um, it's published, it's a sort of self-published one, published on demand by Lulu. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, Lulu. Uh, I use them to publish my own books. Um, and uh, they're great, they're a really good company, they're very high quality. And fairly reasonable prices. So it means that a lot of this sort of stuff can be produced now that certainly uh, in the 80s when uh, this was on you couldn't have produced a book like this it would have bankrupt most people it's a very romantic looking talent there so very very uh, good mixture of different art styles this bit i love i read this bit earlier this is who did this we see who did it ah here we go so jonathan helm you're a bloody genius. This is brilliant. I wish I wanted to see one for the Liberator as well. So this is a workshop manual <laughs> for the Scorpio, uh, which is just such a good idea. And again, wonderfully done. Uh, see the artwork, sort of cartoony style. Um, cutaways of the Scorpio. Never my favourite ship, but uh, this is uh, not this page. The next page. My favourite bit of art in the entire book, which is this drawing of uh, Sulin, you know, which is just, I just, it's great. I love it. I'd love it as a poster. Um, let me see. It tells you what's good about this as well. It credits the uh, the people that have done it. So this was Michael Avon Oming. Sorry if I mispronounced your name there, Michael. But yeah, your artwork is wonderful. Um, yeah, absolutely love that. If you ever sell it, let me know. Um, so, yep, lots of uh, behind the scenes. Oh, the wonderful Mad Max ripoff Space Rats. 
Um, we're going to, on the podcast, Blake 7 in character, we're going to try and do a, a special just sort of reviewing it. Um, although I don't think either myself or Eric realised just how thick and meaty it was. So it might be a while off. Um, I, won't, I won't go page by page, but you can just see it's just amazing. Uh, it's a great interview. I read that as well. Um, with uh, Dick and Ashworth, who played Gunsar. Um, who, when we did this episode in season four, we were both surprised, myself and Eric, that he came out so well. He uh, he came quite high on our list of characters. Uh, comic strips, behind the scenes stuff, interviews with people that were on the show. It's absolutely, I mean, it's probably a good year's worth of reading on it. History of the magazine, history of the episodes, on location filming. It's just amazing. So... If you're any sort of Blake 7 fan, or just a fan of World Distributor Style Annuals, um, I'd give this one a shot. I don't know how long it's going to be on for sale. Um, it, uh, you look at it and you go, oh, 40 quid for an annual, that's a bit, a bit mad. But honestly, it's well worth it. It's worth every penny. Um, there's various, obviously, Lulu vouchers you can get to get money off. Uh, so I think for me, this came, including postage, which was very reasonable, I think this came to about 36 quid. Um, but it's just, I'm so glad. I toyed with it. I'm so glad I, uh, you know, I spent the uh, heating money this month on this. Summer will last a bit longer. But yeah, go out and buy it if you're a fan. Go out and buy it if you're not a fan. We need to support this level of, uh, of quality. Um, and uh, I, I agree with the... Michael off the channel retro blasting that the fans are doing the best work and this is it again so well done to everyone who uh, who did this um, I can't wait for the uh, fiction paperback that should be good as well but uh, I'm going to go off and have a look at my annual thanks for watching um, please see my Blake 7 playlist if you want to see more stuff um, and please like and subscribe if you can it helps the channel thanks again then bye